The disease that I have is called is called um, um, is called um, um, is called Duchenne um, muscular dystrophy. I, I have been involved um, ever since my freshman year in ever since my my freshman year in, in high school. Because of uh, of my disease, um, I'm 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 lacking a protein that that is very vital um, to my to the uh, muscles. Uh, um, um, I, I used to walk and everything. Um, 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 I used to be able to walk like 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 everyone else, and it seemed like and it seemed like I was I was a a, a normal kid. Um, um, but then, but then I, at around the age of six, um, my my parents and my teachers started started noticing that that, that that whenever I would walk, I would I would trip and and fall, and so and so they took me to, to the doctor, and and I was diagnosed with with um with um Duchenne um, muscular. And dystrophy. Basically, it's a one-day national event where college and high school coaches all over the country wear patches on their shirts that say Coach Akram D, and they raise money and awareness for research um, for Duchenne. Um, you know, their positive attitude, their energy. They come in here and smile and tell their story and, and show that they're here to keep fighting and keep working and keep pushing. Um, that, that is infectious, it's contagious, and I think that's probably the biggest way that it's affected our team. The, while we started doing uh, with football coaches, as you know, when um, boys in high school are playing football and playing sports, that's kind of when they're at their strongest, and for our boys, that's when they're getting their weakest. And um, just like football is a boy's sport and Duchenne is a boy's disease. You know, it's allowed our team to see how tough both of those young men are. My favorite thing about it is just seeing how happy they are. You know, um, they always have smiles on their face. They're just full of joy. It's just awesome to see. first started we only had eight weeks to pull it off. It was really intimidating. <laughs> and uh, our first year we had like a hundred schools and this year we'll have at least over 500 and we've raised um, well over a million dollars. have difficulties in life, you know, that we've never experienced and just kind of seeing that and, you know, showing that our support for that is just all, all we can do and just more. How the team just comes together. We just all come together for the boys and we just, it's just like a, a bond with them, like a natural bond that we have with them every year they come. It's kind of a break from them from their normal routine and they get to be on the sidelines and be team captains and be a really important part of our team that in the day and uh, and then our our team historically has done a great job of really trying to welcome them and I, I love seeing our kids you know grab them by the arm and bring them into the fold and make, make them sure they feel like they're a part of our program and a team for that night. Thank you.